the first thing is, as a fast bowler, I think you, you've got to be able to shine the ball. Um, you know, why everyone loves test cricket is because there's so much art to it. It's um, You have swing bowlers, you have spinners, you have all these different aspects um, that make test cricket what it is. And I think if you can't shine the ball, that, that takes away swing bowling, that takes away reverse swing bowling. And I just don't want to give the batters another reason to score runs. Remember that bidding war that the Kolkata Knight Riders management got into at the IPL auction? Well, it was for someone extremely special and that someone is joining us on this edition of Knights Unplugged. Pat Cummins is with us all the way from Australia. Pat, hello, how are you? And um, first things first, we want to know about this farm you've been living at. We've seen pictures and me and tons of fans are extremely curious to know um, how your time on the farm is going. Yeah, g'day. How are you going? I'm very well, thank you. It's... um. Yeah, we're just about an hour south of Sydney, an hour and a half um, south of Sydney. We've got um, just a little plot of land here that we bought a couple of years ago, um, which quite lucky actually. Now we can, um, you know, it's just been about well, over a month now. We've been bunkered down here and um, yeah, I can still go out for runs and got some little basic weight set up so I can keep fit. But really it's... Um, yeah, it's the first chunk of time I've spent down here. So we've got a few cows that have been feeding, um, lots of uh, gardening jobs. I've just been enjoying the fresh air, to be honest. That's super. Now we know that you're on a farm, so you have some open space around you. And we know that you also have some experience in mowing and watering lawns so that you can play cricket. Have you created a nice little bowling pitch for you on the farm somewhere? No, there's absolutely no cricket here at the farm. <laughs> um, Hopefully it stays that way because it's, it's my like, little getaway from cricket. So when I'm on the road all the time, I get here and it's you feel a million miles away from uh, a screaming Eden Park, Eden Gardens. We know that you've grown up in a big family, a family of seven. Now that you're all staying together and this time has got us all staying indoors, are you reliving uh, childhood memories? What is it like spending time with your family now? Yeah, well, we're all living separately. Um, because we're you know all got our own places and, and moved out of home now but it, it's been nice actually we've i think just having more time to um kind of dedicate to the family so i think trying to organize because i've got five brothers or four brothers and sisters there's five kids trying to organize a, a birthday lunch or a you know saturday night catch up it just takes months to work out so we all know we're going to be sitting at home every night so Saturday night has now become trivia night um, where everyone has a go at making their own questions and it's been quite fun actually. And um, you got engaged in February, so congratulations. Now that you have this downtime, uh, is wedding prep in full swing? Thank you, it is, yes. Um, fortunately, just after I got engaged, I went and uh, we had a tour to South Africa for about three weeks. And Becky's mum was, was over here with us. So it actually got a lot of the planning done without me, which is great because it means now I'm getting roped into a few things, but most of the big decisions have already been made. So I'm, I'm doing bits and pieces. Um, it's all pretty exciting, but it's yeah next year sometime. So we've still got plenty of time. And I'm going to sound like a Snoopy relative right now, but do you have a date? We know that it's next year sometime, but when? <laughs> uh, yeah, next year sometime. Um, I'm not going to tell you the exact date, but, but hopefully it doesn't clash with IPL. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Talking of the IPL, another season with the Kolkata Knight Riders. Excited to come back to Eden Gardens and, and just play in front of all of these fans? I am, of course. Um, my first taste of IPL. Um, and really my, my biggest taste of India was, you know, going over there and playing with Kolkata when I was uh, a few years younger than what I am now. And I absolutely loved it. Um, I loved, within our team, we had so much experience. You know, we had Jax Callis, the world's, one of the best players to ever play cricket. And suddenly I'm having dinner with him every night and, and get to play alongside him. Um, Andre Russell was just starting to come on to, um, come into his own, um, I guess. And it was really, really fun. We, you know, first season we won that title. Um, so it's always held a really fond um, 
you know, place in my heart. Even all the staff and the the um, you know office staff have always been so great to um, us players. So I'm I'm really pumped to get back there and and spend a bit more time up north in Kolkata. Fantastic. And Brendan McCallum and rest of the Kolkata Knight Riders think tank went all guns blazing at the IPL auction <laughs> to ensure that Pat Cummins is once again in purple and gold. Um, how did it feel knowing that the team fought so ferociously for you? And, and is that any amount of pressure coming into a brand new season? Yeah, I think I owe the uh, Baz and the coaching staff a couple of dinners, I think. Um, oh, it was you know great. Um, and I think... Something like Baz, it comes, it means even more when it's a player that I've played up against a lot. He's a former international captain, and um, to kind of get that, um, I guess, reassurance that you know you've got something that they really want to be, um, you know, part of the team. It's great, and, and um, I think with a big contract, there's a bit of responsibility that comes with that. But more than anything, it's just excitement. Um, you know, you, you don't really. You forget about the contract really quickly. It's just um, as soon as they get over there, you want to be part of a team that has success and are all kind of like-minded. And I think we found that, um, you know, in this squad that we put together this season. Fantastic. Now, we know that sports is currently on pause and uh, when things do resume, there's going to be a lot that changes. There's been a lot of talk about um, shining the ball and how saliva might not be used and you might use other substances. What do you have to say about this entire situation? How do you think it's going to change post the coronavirus? I mean, the, the first thing is as a fast bowler, I think you've got to be able to shine the ball. Um, you know why everyone loves test cricket is because there's so much art to it it's um you have swing bowlers you have spinners you have all these different aspects um that make test cricket what it is and i think if you can't shine the ball that that takes away swing bowling that takes away reverse swing bowling and i just don't want to give the batters another reason to score runs um so that that's one thing i, I mean obviously health is the absolute number one priority so um, I'm I'm kind of thinking we're in a position where we're that we're really worried about getting, you know, passing on um, you know, coronavirus. If, we, if we're going to be that careful that we can't shine the ball and we can't get close and you can't play the game that you normally would be, I don't think we would be playing in the first place. So we'll wait and see. But um, I think we've still got to be able to shine the ball. Things are going to change. Um, in all sports, in all the way we live around the world. So, yeah, if you have to change something, at least um, I just want there to be, they totally ban shining the ball. I want them to come up with another option because I think it's a, a big part of cricket. So whether it's saliva or something else, um, as long as we're still allowed to um, shine up the ball to make sure it keeps swinging. You celebrated your birthday on the 8th of May. Um, two birthdays you've spent with the Kolkata Night Riders. Do you remember any epic cake smashes or parties? I'm very happy this year that I'm not in India because I've got no cake on my face. Every other time in India, <laughs> absolutely smashed with cake. So, um, yes, I had my 21st, I think, over in India as well. Um, but it, I, I love, that's one of the great Indian tr traditions, how much um, love and attention they put into each birthday. And there's always a cake waiting at the team hotel um, in Kolkata. And yeah, it's always, I remember Andre Russell putting my ears up my nose one year. Um, took three showers to get it all out of me. But um, yeah, hopefully I, I don't have too many birthdays to celebrate over there. Or I try and keep them a bit quiet and hide, lock myself in my room. We could celebrate a belated birthday. <laughs> no, no, I'm okay. <laughs> no. Alright, what is the first thing that Pat Cummins is going to do once this lockdown is lifted? Just missing uh, seeing a few mates for a beer. So hopefully um, just go down to local pub, have a beer, watch some footy with a few good mates. And now that you're back with the Kolkata Knight Riders, uh, KKR fans are super excited to see you in purple and gold. Uh, do you have a message for them? Oh, just hang tight. Um, we're all missing the IPL at the moment, but hopefully it still happens soon. Um, us players and coaches were all messaging, messaging each other, absolutely pumped for the season. So we're all training, waiting for it to happen. Once it does, it'll be an absolute uh, 
it'll be a great spectacle so hang tight super duper thank you so much for doing this with us it was fantastic having you on nights unplugged and we cannot wait to see you in kolkata <laughs> easy let's do it again soon thanks Well, that's all we have for you on this episode of Nights Unplugged, but be sure to join us next week as always because we will bring to you a brand new night who you can get to know that much better. For now, stay home and stay safe.